preaching time amen we're not going to prolong the time in the 23rd song familiar passage of scripture just uh one verse it says he <coughs> excuse me 23rd yes 23rd song amen and it's a familiar passage of scripture the 23rd song amen it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. This is the key verse. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Shall we pray? Amen. Our Father in heaven, now is preaching time. We ask you, God, to hide us behind your glorious cross. That folks will not see Derek, but see you, that you will be glorified and magnified. And we'll give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to talk about today, victory in the valley. Victory in the valley. Life is full of ups and downs. Am I right? Yeah. Some days we are on the mountain yeah. top, and some days we are in the valley. But God uses our valley experience, y'all. To get our attention. Amen. Yeah. There will be a valley of experiences such as unemployment, divorce, sickness, death. We all face different valley experiences. But most valley experiences happen over a period of time. Amen. 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 We can be anointed. Amen. Gifted and still face valley experiences. Yeah. Yeah. When you are going through the valley experience. You will find out who is for you and who is not for you. Amen. But it reminds us that the scripture says, Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. There are some people who rejoice, Reverend Jonah, when you are, I mean, Reverend, I said Reverend Jonah. Jonah must be talking about me. <laughs> Reverend Jumper. Amen. Amen. I said, there are some people who are rejoicing when you are going through your valid experience. First, you have to find out how did you Get in the valley. Well, I want to tell you, when you are disobedient and when you don't listen to what God wants you to do, Amen. you will find yourself in a valley experience. Amen? Yes. Amen? Yes. And then it tells us to learn on your, uh, when you go through the valley, it's a learning experience. Amen? Yes. That he said I, it's only a test. Amen? Yes. We all are being tested today. Amen. I don't care how good you are, Amen. what you do. You're going to be tested. But while you're being tested in the valley experience, he wants you to give him the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. When I'm in not where I'm going to end up, but where I am going in the valley, it does not fear for thou art with me. Amen. David can help me here. He said in this text, he said when he was going through, he said he restored my soul. He leaves me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He said, but yea, though I walk yeah. through the valley yeah. of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And I tell you right there, God did not give us a spirit of fear, Hallelujah. but he gave us a spirit of a sound mind. Yes, can, can I preach this way I feel it, y'all? Yes, Amen. He said he gave us a spirit of a sound mind. Hallelujah. And then he said, thou art with me. Yes. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You need to know the day that God is with you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Even... When you're in a bad experience, can I tell you, the Lord don't want you to have a pity party. Amen. He wants you to even praise him while you're in the valley. Amen. Amen. First of all, you got to acknowledge your valley and ask God to direct your path. Amen. Amen. Through your valley experience, the reason why you are having a victory in the valley, because God is with you. Amen. Isn't it strange that sometimes we see people who do not even go to church. But they got everything going with them. But you know, I want to help you this afternoon. That's their pleasure right here. 
We're looking for a greater Hallelujah. power, greater blessing from God. Amen? Amen. And he went on to tell us that even in the valley of peace, I'm with you. God also will follow, follow you, and he will lead you, and he will guide you, and he will direct you. That's why I like when David said, I will lift my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. He said, all my help coming from the Lord. You ought to give God some praise right there. You know you're not the way, the person you used to be. You know that if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, when enemies rose up against you, you would have lost it. Amen? But he went on to tell you that while you're in the battle, you can have victory. And he said, well, how can I have victory? Not to hold you long. He said, I can have victory because God makes provision. He supplies all our needs according to his riches in glory. Uh, that's what I like. He's, he, he makes provision. Uh, why are you trying to figure it out? He's already working it out. Hallelujah. Uh, secondly, he tells us that he, he is protection. God will protect you when you're having a valley experience. You ought to give God some praise there. I believe I can call some witnesses to the witness stand. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was in a valid experience when they were in that fiery furnace. And knowing that they made up in their mind, doesn't matter what happens, God is with us. And he was with them because the fourth man showed up. Jesus showed up. Uh, can I tell you, Paul and Silas had a valley experience. Uh, when they were going through the city, telling folks about Jesus. I'm beginning to feel all right. Telling folks about Jesus. And, and Herod said, put them in a jail. He said, because they have crossed my turf. Uh, there was a lady by the name of Lydia. Uh, help us, Lord. Uh, Lydia knew that she was wrapped up with Herod. Uh, she was having a valley experience. Uh, and she said, well, I know that these are the men of God. Uh, I know why I can tell you she knew that they were the men of God uh, because she heard the word of God and she messed around Sister Barbara and got saved. <laughs> and she said, now I know that these are the men of God. Uh, the Bible said that she quit her master's yes. royal game. Uh, she got saved, and Herod said, put these men in a prison. Uh, you talking about a valley experience, uh, but I'm so glad, uh, I'm so glad this afternoon that while they were having a valley experience, uh, they knew how to pray. Uh, my next point is that when you are having a valley experience, uh, you better know how to pray. Uh, the Bible songwriter said, just a talk with Jesus uh, will make everything all right. Uh, and I got news that when you talk to him, uh, he will talk to you. Uh, the next thing I want to tell you that when you have God's provision, uh, when you got his protection, uh, you got thoroughly his promise. Uh, and I heard him say that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, God gives us promise uh, to never leave us or to forsake us, um, even though it might look bad. Uh, but guess what? Joy coming in the morning. Um, I heard him say, weeping may end too far a night, uh, but joy coming in the morning. Uh, and I'm so glad that I thank God for my trials. Um, thank God for my valley experience. Uh, Sometime when you're going through the valley, uh, the enemy wants to attack you and, and tell you to give up, throw up the towel. Uh, but I heard God say uh, that I will never leave you, uh, never forsake you. Uh, then he says uh, that the, the world, the joy that I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Uh, that's why David recognized that when he got off track uh, with God, uh, you know when he had Uriah put on the front line and 
wanted his wife Bathsheba. He was having a, a valley experience. Uh, but God is not like man. Uh, God forgave David. Uh, and I heard him say, recreate in me uh, a clean heart. Uh, renew in me a right spirit. Uh, I want to tell you this afternoon uh, at the Ecumenical Abundant Life Church uh, that when you are having a valor experience, uh, I dare you to do as the songwriter said. Uh, tell the Father, I stretch uh, my hand to thee. Uh, no other uh, help I know. Uh, if thou uh, withdraw thyself from me, uh, oh, whether shall I go? Um, I got news for you this afternoon. Uh, it pays to serve Jesus um, every day, um, every step uh, of the way. Um, on the mountaintop, uh, in the valley, uh, in trouble, uh, in storms. Uh, I heard him say, I will be with you. Uh, and I got happy when I looked at this text and I reminded when David said, I will bless the Lord. At all times, uh, his praises uh, shall continually uh, be in my mouth. Uh, and I stopped by this afternoon to tell you, that's why he said uh, in the valley experience, he said, the Lord um, in my shepherd, um, I shall uh, not want. Um, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Um, he leading me beside the still waters. Um, went on to say, he restoring my soul, uh, leading me in the path of righteousness uh, for his name's sake. Uh, and then he said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Went on to say, thou anointed uh, my head with oil. Uh, my cup uh, runneth over. Uh, then he went on to give us assurance today. He said, surely, surely, uh, goodness and mercy shall follow me uh, all the days of my life. And, and I will, I said, I will dwell uh, in the house of of the Lord. I stop by to tell you that when you have his provision, when you have his protection, when you have his promise, doesn't matter what the enemy's trying to do. When you're in the valley of life, you can tell him I got victory over the enemy and the world can't do me no harm. Want y'all to know this afternoon that I've got victory. Yes, uh, been through hell. Yes, uh, been down. But I've got victory. Doesn't matter uh, what you think about it. I've got victory uh, because the Lord said that he would never uh, leave me uh, nor forsake me. And then finally, uh, just one more thing. Uh, he want me to tell you that I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. And then when you go through a valley experience, you can do like you said, lift up your head, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord mighty in battle, the Lord strong and mighty. He is the king of glory. Can you get on your feet and say yes, Lord? If he's been good to you, say yes, Lord. If he brought you out, say yes, Lord. If he brought you through, yes, Lord. Victory in the valley. And I've got it. And I'm going to keep it. It's easy. To rejoice when you're on the mountaintop. But he said, what are you going to do when you're in the valley? He said, you got to trust me. 
You got the t- mm-hmm.